Hey Moon Magic family, welcome back to the channel now. <laughs> I'm actually seeing pile one, pile two and pile three already. Beautiful souls, um, this is a weekly reading. It's a here and now reading. We're asking for immediate guidance and we'll look at the next seven days as well. Um, I hope you're all doing amazingly. Thank you so much for being here. So pile one, you have the poet. Oh, wow. Um, do you know, I was just thinking the energy is so buzzing actually right here today, right now. It's, I feel like the energy is rising and I'm guessing you guys from reading your comments on readings that I've been posting during the week that you are actually finding the same. Thank you so, so much for sharing. Uh, I mean, your, your comments are just inspirational, but yes, pile one. Let me get focused here, but it just does feel like the energy is rising. Pile one, the poet. This is the card for pile one. Pile two, the mountain. This is the card for pile two. And for pile three, we have the flame. Wow. Yeah, talk about energy rising. Just look at these cards. Wow. Yeah, so beautiful souls. If you're new to the channel, I do these readings every single Sunday. Um, they are timeless. You can find a reading whenever you need to, but I do them every Sunday. We ask for immediate guidance and um, and then I look at the next seven days as well. If there's anything that spirit needs to or wants to give you the heads up about, how is the week going to unfold for you? So we've got these three cards. I am also going to draw a rune and a charm for each as well. If you would like a little bit more, um, just a little bit more guidance to tune in with. If you already know which card or cards, I know for some of you, sometimes it's more than one reading and the timestamps as always are in the description box and I'll put them in a comment so you can zap through um, to whichever reading is calling to you. Okay. So, pile one, you have Rado, the rune of journey, and you have a mermaid. Okay, you see those together? So, Rado, the rune of journey, and a mermaid. That is pile one. For pile two. You have a beautiful moon, actually. And you have the rune of breakthrough, Degas. Wow, okay. So breakthrough and a beautiful moon. That's for pile two. And for pile three, you have an octopus, and you have the rune of Isa, stand still, with a beautiful octopus. Okay, so those are the cards, the runes, the charms for the three piles today. Beautiful souls, I am going to leave the video running for a few moments longer, just in case anybody just wants to be able to tune into them um, for a bit more, have, have a bit more time. I always think just trust your instinct, your gut feeling, see what's speaking to you. And um, yeah, maybe, maybe it's more than one. If it's more than one, there may well be more than one message coming through for you today. So beautiful souls, thank you for being here. It's a blessing and a privilege to read for you and I will see you in the readings in just a moment. Hello, beautiful pile one. Welcome to your reading. Now, Rado, the rune of journey and the poet. 
quite interesting this little mermaid she looks like she's looking ahead you know like when you put your you see like sort of I don't know like in almost like comedy films like a sailor putting their hand up to their eyes and going ahoy there and looking ahead I feel that with this this is almost like a crystal ball here I feel that you have quite a significant vision of the future actually of something you want to create hmm. so what is your message because this is sometimes about journeying within I, I just feel that you're going to be shown what the next step is maybe or what you're where you're needing to go next you're rising the energy is rising okay um i'm not going to say any more pile one let's ask what is your immediate message for today and dive straight into your cards what is the immediate message that pile one need to know ground your light let your soul shine yeah i feel like you you're going to have a voice being the poet as well there's something a message you need to bring to the world or something you need to bring forth her joy renders the impossible task possible desert harvest hmm. okay so what I see is where you are right now, beautiful souls, there is, there's a hurdle you need to climb over. There's something that you're having to step over or overcome to, to look ahead. Some of you may even be feeling like you're struggling to look ahead. And yet your reading is saying, look, ground your light. You have something really important to bring forth. Now, it could be in a personal situation or it could be in the bigger arena of the bigger world. But you do have something almost like to deliver or to present. In fact, some of you may even have a presentation or something you need to do. Rado, the rune of journey. More often than not, this rune speaks of journeying inwards, removing obstacles. But I do see there is a something, a hurdle or a something you have to climb over. I think you'll know what it is. Um, it could be something within you, like an attitude um, or a perspective or a perception. Or it could literally be an obstacle, like there's something standing in your way. You have to do that in order to achieve that or you have to you're trying to do something and it feels as though something is blocked or someone is standing in the way something is in the way of you right here and right now and this reading is here to firstly encourage you to tell you to keep going because you're going to rise rise shine ground your light don't be put off by the hurdle or the thing that you have to step over or step up into if you get really really still I think you'll literally be shown the way. Can you see this person here with the light grounded? It's like their energy is now centered. And we have almost like yet another, if you can see that in the card, it, it really is like a crystal ball, a kind of an orb almost. Okay, and we have that sense of this with the poet. I feel that you are in yourself a bit of a visionary. Okay, now whether that visionary is grounded in your in what I would call a more everyday way, like you're a really, really conscious parent, you're consciously parenting, or you're working within your community, or you're literally out in the world creating stuff, having a voice, doing something. You have a really significant role to play in being quite a beacon of change for people or a beacon of light. I think in many ways you help people to overcome obstacles, but there is definitely something that you need to step over. And the message here is, you know, don't be defeated by that. Um, you absolutely can do this. You absolutely can do this. Let's draw some more cards for you. Let's draw some tarot cards first. May we have information about how this might move forward. So we have the Six of Cups. We have the Card of Judgment. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. 
we have the three of wands we have the oh, look at this fantastic we have the world and also the ten of pentacles too okay let me shift your cards along a little bit so we can see where we are get them all in okay right again you have such a confirmation here with um with the world and with the ten of pentacles here you have such a confirmation here that you know you can do this you're going to get to the sort of like to the end goal I think it's a temporary blip now for some of you it could connect to a family situation or it could connect to something um, that reminds you of the past even connecting back to your childhood some of your childhood buttons could have been pressed but basically you're being asked to rise above this okay don't let it get you down. There's some, there's some kind of a circumstance. There's something you're having to attend to. I think, you, you're quite honestly, your energy has been rising. You've been moving forwards. Everything has kind of been moving as, as you want it to, as it should. I think you've been feeling like you're almost finally starting to get going on something. And then suddenly up comes something else that requires your time or your energy or your attention. Just get grounded i do feel it could be a, it's like a, a localized kind of thing a local thing a family circumstance or as i said it's pressed your buttons reminded you of a past situation rise above this and and then i feel that you're being asked to just navigate it you're going to get to the end goal it, I, I think this is going to get completed this additional task or this additional demand i think it will it, it's needing your time this hurdle here and the key to navigating it is to journey inwards so that you're rising above rather than getting tangled in it i think you're going to navigate this really quickly with the world showing up here. I think you'll be able to, to, to climb over this obstacle, give it your time and attention, and then move on with, with what you're doing and get back on track really quickly. I don't think this is going to take up as much time as you may think it's going to. I feel at the moment it's almost like it's just when you thought you were free of something or you're in, in flow, something comes along, a, a hiccup or an interference or something. Just look ahead keep looking ahead like that mermaid don't lose sight of the end goal don't let it get you down the key here is a it's really about remaining centered and grounded so whatever this is wherever it's however it's shown up that there, there is truly just just stay on track let's get some additional information for you let's draw a number card any guidance and advice from numbers when your card is shown straight away okay eight this is so so relevant look at this eight 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 personal power material and spiritual abundance wealth resources force balance confidence material gain epic epic resonance all that is good and pleasant in your life will multiply angels are sending you the number to reassure you of the prosperity and well-being ahead your surroundings will treat you with admiration and respect use it for the greater good fabulous do you know whatever you need to get over this hurdle to move beyond it gosh that light is bright on that's how interesting i'll just turn it around a little so it's not so we can still see the card but yeah whatever you need it's it's kind of going to come to you. you're going to need to just step into your personal power here okay and i think if you are centered in a place of of, of gratitude of appreciation of empowerment do, do what you need to do. Step over this hurdle, but don't be bogged down by it. I think some of you are fearful of going backwards as well. As if something's going on and you're kind of fearful, will I, will I go back? Will I repeat? Will the same thing happen again? And, and we are being reassured that that is not the case. Whatever is requiring your attention, you are not going backwards. The same thing, the same thing is not going to repeat here. I think just step up into this, you know, and, but do it from a center position. I think you'll be guided. Let's draw some more tarot cards from another pack. 
let's ask about if there's any information about you know actually just about this hurdle this this circumstance this situation i think i'm actually going to use another oracle pack any information about this hurdle this interference okay wisdom how interesting look at you holding the answer with the world in your belly forgiveness We've got another child as well here and children here again this situation may well involve children or people behaving childishly <laughs> expansion okay I feel like you're the person who has to rise to this and sort of I don't know take the adult position take charge of it okay ground your light handle this it really does feel like it is just a just I want to just say a temporary a temporary interference it's not permanent it's a circumstance a situation that has come along and intruded you can deal with it you can handle it you can resolve it the, the plan will work out accordingly just literally come in take charge do what you need to do but in a boundary wise kind of way you don't need to don't need to worry or feel that your buttons are being well your buttons may be being pressed but you have every ability to handle this and i think you are genuinely already rising your energy is rising you're on track actually there's there's some significant parts of your personal life in terms of your spiritual development you are actually personally on track um, i'm really hearing that and because you're on track actually things like this when they come along you will be able to take them in your stride and you'll be given exactly what you need to handle handle it I mean that's what this card is really saying all that is good and pleasant in your life will multiply angels are sending you the number to reassure you of the prosperity and well-being ahead your surroundings will treat you with admiration and respect use it for the greater good so I just feel whatever whatever this circumstances it's going to be it will you will make it work for you and it it will want to work with you just the overall energy um is working for you this is going to happen and then you will get back on on track it will just feel like it's something that you just had to navigate and handle when you did it and i think it's going to resolve quickly actually here but let's now look at the week ahead could we have guidance for the week ahead how might pile one navigate the week ahead so we have the card of justice okay we have the ace of wands and the page of pentacles okay and then you have the eight of pentacles okay and then you have the king of cups right so the week ahead beautiful souls um yeah if there's anything that pops into your world could even some of you there could even be some sort of contractual stuff that you're suddenly obliged to look at or some paperwork comes through that you need to deal with um just something where you've you've just got to attend again you've just got to attend to it it feels like it's a, it's a block if you're a creative person you're the poet writing doing these amazing things and then along comes something and you're like oh you know i'm gonna have to do this well yes you are but just handle it do it be really diligent just get to it and rise above the the sort of the frustrations around it blocking your pathway deal with what you've got to deal with hold your energy really just hold your pathway ground your light with the ace of wands uh, with the, and with the page of pentacles I, I sort of feel like yeah literally whatever resources you need time energy wise honestly it's just going to come to you um, just systematically with the eight of pentacles here just work your way through what you need to do one step at a time it, it's like handling um, 
if you were at work and, and work was running really, really smoothly and then suddenly something comes in and there's a, I don't know, let's say you're working in a some kind of an environment where you're dealing with people and then there's a massive customer service issue and, and you've got to deal with it. It, it all it takes over. Um, just when you thought you were plain sailing and your schedule was organised, but just deal with it one step at a time, process it carefully and you will get there. I, I think you will... I always want to say whatever this situation circumstances, I think you'll sort of, you'll either complete it this week, get it sorted, or I think you'll kind of break the back of it as it were, so that it's pretty much where it needs to be so it can then move forwards and sort of run its course really. Um, you know, that is the guidance we're receiving for this week for you. Overall, pile one, your energy is really interesting. Because there's something in your world that's really fabulous that is actually going to come to fruition. It's just that alongside it, life is also happening. There are interruptions, there's stuff going on. Um, and the key here, really, with the Five of Pentacles here, um, is just to not to let it get you down if you feel like you haven't got enough time to, to place where you want it to be or you feel like there's other stuff happening. Just don't worry about it. You're going to be on track with this. You really, really are. Just work your way through it systematically. Uh, you know, keep your eyes ahead, remain grounded, and, and truly you'll get through this really, really speedily. Um, you'll be amazed how quickly you can sort of attend to what needs to be attended to and then get back on track. And the getting back on track is important to hold your vision of it because whatever you are actually personally working on, it is going to, to bring you success and it is it almost has a feeling of it being something of your calling, having a voice, making a difference, however that is. Pile one, this is your reading for this week. Um, if you're new to my channel, I do these readings every Sunday, so they're very here and now. It's like, what's the most important message? What do you need to hear? What are the circumstances around you? And what guidance can we bring for the week ahead? So this is what I do here on, on the Moon Magic channel every Sunday. And then in the week, usually on a Tuesday and a Friday, I upload other readings, um, you know, connected to sometimes planetary stuff. I'll be doing some big planetary readings this coming week, actually, at the time of doing this. Obviously, this is a timeless reading. You can check in with these any time. I always think you find the right reading at the right time. But yeah, at the time of doing this, if you're following these readings as I upload them, and thank you to those of you who are, um, yeah, I will be uploading this week. Some, there's some big planetary stuff coming up big, big, big stuff. So I'll be doing some readings around that um, this week, along with extended readings, I think, as well. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, thank you all of you for, uh, you know, being, um, for those of you who've connected in with the extended readings that are in the YouTube membership area and also on Patreon. And just thank all of you. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you all of you who give back through the super thanks. Um, but just anyway, thank you all. Just being here, watching the readings, liking, sharing, subscribing, everything that you do actually helps to support the channel and helps me to continue to put free stuff into the world. So thank you um, from the bottom of my heart, beautiful souls. Hey, Pile 2, welcome to your reading. I'm chuckling because the energy is just rising. It just is rising. I'm going to have to put that in the title when I upload this onto YouTube. Um, so beautiful souls, this is a weekly reading. I ask for immediate guidance and we look at the week ahead for you as well. This is like, um, for you guys, this is a breakthrough moment. This is like that eureka moment where you suddenly something becomes clear, you, you know where you stand, something happens, there's a breakthrough point. It's almost like the, the, the door, in the, the magical door in the side of the mountain just opens for you. Um, now, I don't know what this door is, but I feel like there is a door about to open for you. Now, it may already have opened, I do not know, but I feel like th this is like a serious breakthrough for you. Let's draw cards. What is the most immediate message that we are being shown here for you? Now, two cards are coming through for you, so we're going to take them both. My beautiful pile two. Astral travel. Interestingly, it says caution needed and eternal union, new love is forming. Okay, right. Hmm. 
Wow. New love is forming. Okay. Breakthrough moment. Let's draw more cards for you, more oracle cards first. Desert Harvest. How interesting that this came up in pile one. If you were in any way drawn to pile one, then I suggest you check it out. There may be something really important in that message for you. The Little One Rises. Beautiful energy. Okay, yeah. Right. You are actually about to reach a breakthrough point, a breakthrough moment. It could be a moment of realization, but I think it's more than that. I do feel something that has felt blocked or has not felt that it's coming to fruition is, what did I say about the energy rising? The little one rises. If you are in an existing relationship and it's felt like it's at a stalemate, or you are in a connection where it's just not been moved forwards, or you're single and you're looking for someone and it just hasn't been happening, I think the, the breakthrough moment is about to come. Yeah, I think it literally, it, and, and I think it's going to happen fast, which is why we've got the astral travel caution needed. This would be one of those moments, you know, when it just suddenly it opens up, like the doorway to this mountain is just, it opens up, it's there and you're, it, it's so, in such a big way that I think it's like, it knocks you, it's, it pulls the rug out from under your feet almost. It knocks you for six in the best possible way, but it knocks you for six because you're like, whoa, where did that come from? Or, wow, that's amazing. Or, you, you know, just, you're, I think it's going to blow you away. Okay. This breakthrough moment, maybe also because with breakthrough, so this rune here, Degas, Degas can literally sometimes mean that we do, it's, it's like we change direction. Now there's been a very big energy shift at the, at the time of my doing, in the week of doing these readings, the week before this reading, and obviously this is a Sunday reading, but in the week before this, we had an incredible energy shift. It was remarkable. And I know I spoke about it in one of my, in my readings, which I just got up and I did them because the energy had shifted. It was so tangible. And, and I could see lots of evidence just because of the, uh, my house is on an energy point. Some of you will, if you checked in on those readings, you'll know what I'm talking about. I spoke about it then. And in the comments, thank you so, so much. So many of you experienced similar shifts in energy. There was a change. The energy Energy was shifting and changing direction. We had an opportunity to align with that. And I feel like so many of you are aligned with this shift in energy and now it's rising. And this is literally a change in direction. It can be a 180 degree turn. So just as you thought you were going one way, suddenly it's like, whoop, no, I'm going in a completely different direction. I think for many, it, this is really, in this particular reading, it is connected to some element of relationship because we do have eternal union, but it could be your relationship with spirit, with the divine. It could be relationship to place as well for some of you. If you thought you were moving to one place and then you decide to move somewhere completely different. Let's draw some tarot cards. But actually, I'll tell you what, I'm going to draw a number card first. May we have additional guidance for my beautiful pile twos. 0440, the gut feeling, wow. Intuition, betrayal, pessimism, relating, value, insight, increased perception, love, monogamy. Follow your gut. It's more than just a feeling. Be real with people and focus on meaningful relationships. Remember, you also must bring value to the table. Treat others with respect or else karma will bite your ass. <laughs> I was going to say, it's going to bite you on the bum. Three is a crowd. How interesting. So we are in the territory of some connection in relationship and it is a breakthrough moment. Now, for some of you, it could be an about turn. If, if this is a general reading, so I'm just going to tune in with the different messages that are coming. Some will be right for you. If it's not right for you, it'll most likely be a, really, a message for someone else. 
So a very specific message. Maybe some of you do have that breakthrough moment, that realization, astral travel. You just see so damn clearly what's going on. Something that has been like a barren road. You've been traveling down. You've been investing and investing. And do you know what? You just see it so damn clearly. You move along. The little one rises. It's like, do you know what? 180 degrees. I'm heading in a different direction. I'm not sitting with this anymore. Okay. That will be for some not all. Now for others, I think this really is about a new connection or a new layer of connection with someone. But trust, trusting your gut feeling where, where it blows you away, it knocks your socks off. You, you suddenly meet someone and it's so apparent that this is the path that you wish to follow, that nothing else, everything else pales into insignificance. Yeah. Follow your gut feeling. Just trust those inner feelings. If something is feeling, um, if you're feeling fired up, passionate about it, it's because those passionate feelings are right. Right from the heart, in the heart of the mountain. Right from the very heart. You are feeling something, or if you're not already, you're going to be, um, because the energy is rising. You are feeling something right from the center of your heart. You know it. You know what's right. You know the direction to go in, and you're just going to do it. doesn't matter what's, if anything's standing in your way. You are following it through because you know through and through it's the right thing to do. This, I feel, is like giving you the thumbs up, really. Uh, to, to go with that gut feeling. And, you know, if it's a gut feeling to walk away from something that has felt very barren, or it's a gut feeling to head after a period of, of, of perhaps aloneness, to head into something new, just go for it, grasp it, have it, hold it, be it, then this is here. This is, this is what's right for you. We have the King of Swords. Yeah, be very decisive here. I'm going to say, take take no prisoners, go, <laughs> go for it. Yeah, seven of wands, doesn't matter what anyone else thinks, okay? It does not matter what people think. This is about what's right for you, the Empress. This is absolutely right for you. This is, this is a, a connection of abundance. There will be people who don't agree with your choice. But your gut feeling is right. You just truly just don't pay any attention to what anyone else thinks. On <laughs> This is one of those moments when you really need to trust your gut. I'm seeing this two of cups. Could not be more clear. And we'll take the card from the reverse, the magician. Beautiful. Let's move your cards along. Yeah. You've manifested this. This is the connection you've been dreaming of. You've manifested it. So whether it's renewing, almost like renewing your vows or connecting with, it could be connecting with source, with spirit. But for many of you, it's, it is a connection. It's, a, it's new love. And it could be renewing your, your vows with someone, but it, it's just it, it's just right for you after a period where something wasn't happening. I think there's been a sense of aloneness, even if you've been in, ex in an existing relationship, perhaps it hasn't been f feeling connected or really as if you're singing on the same plane. For some of you, there is, um, yeah, maybe other people around you might not see what this connection is about or even approve of it but my goodness me it's time for you to do to grasp it grasp the ball by the horns and go for it you're not going to look back in all honesty you'll just know this is what's right for you i think i think there's going to be some quite decisive action this week i mean your key message is about trusting your gut feeling and, you know, listening to that break, it is a breakthrough moment in some element of relationship for you. Trusting it and being prepared to go for it. This is your primary, um, your primary uh, message here, your important and immediate message. Let's get some more information and find out about how the week is going to pan out. Can we have any guidance about the week ahead? 
We have King of Swords again. So yeah, I think, you know, being really clear cut about what you want. We have the Five of Pentacles. Go with what's really right. We have the Five of Cups. Five of Pentacles and Five of Cups. Four of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. I think this week it may feel like it's not, I mean, in a way, this is this trust your gut feeling. See, I think the outcome is really favorable. Six of Pentacles, this is a card that's so generous, okay? But I, I do think it will feel like it's a difficult, distrusting your gut feeling. I think it may feel like, it, like it's quite a difficult decision. I think there might be a fear, fears that are raised, like if you're, if it's a brand new relationship, maybe there are fears of rejection that surface, or, you know, if you would need to up sticks and move, perhaps there's a fear of letting go of that sense of the familiar, staying on the same pathway. But this is a radical change. This is a breakthrough that changes the landscape for you of your world really here. It is something you've been manifesting, so it's really right for you. And I think you're going to make what is ultimately quite a clear-cut choice here. So whether you are exiting or entering something new, something new is around you. May we have guidance to see how this sort of like emerges and evolves. How, what's the outcome or what may, how may this happen? This is very interesting. This is a card of, which brings a sense of urgency here. Okay. I mean, this is the solar plexus chakra and the dissipating card is basically don't seize the moment and don't waste this opportunity actually. So there is an opportunity around you. Seize the moment, don't waste it. Yeah, don't let it pass you by, we're being told here. It's up to you what you do. But I think if you if you let it pass you by, we have victim and prayer, this would be one of those things where you would look back and sort of feel regret if you didn't seize the moment. There's an opportunity here. And I think if you don't seize it, it's very interesting. I was sort of saying, how is this going to pan out? But actually the guidance coming through here is to say to you, look, don't just sit here. You know, take action here. You know, be prepared to take action. Be prepared to do something. Be prepared to, to move it forwards. Be prepared to take a risk. Be prepared to change direction. Because actually, and, and this could be rekindling an existing relationship, and you might be thinking, well, do I, do I not? Do I or don't I? Don't want to be disappointed again. If somebody had ghosted you, I don't want to do that. I mean, it may be your gut feeling says, exit, there's something better. For, for some of you, it may be your gut feeling says, actually, this person seems to be genuinely sorry. I could do something with this. It's going to depend on you, your unique circumstances. But your gut feeling is what's going to tell you what to do here. If it's brand new and you're like, oh, can I really take a risk? Because, you know, it feels so risky to allow myself to love again. Well, take the risk. Go for it. Don't cling to anything that isn't, don't cling to anything that isn't resonating with you and seize anything that is. That There's a massive opportunity around some connection to someone this week for you, uh, my pile two. That's certainly what we're being shown in this reading. The caution part, I think, is about listening to your gut feeling and then taking really clear, decisive action and not missing an opportunity here. You know, remain relatively grounded, I think, here we're being shown. Let's get just a couple more cards, just follow this through. See any further advice this week? We have the star. So we're talking about renewed hope, renewed optimism, getting back on track. I, I just think this feels a bit of a miracle, if I'm honest, um, whatever it is, this connection, this person this week. But I do feel it is radi a radical shift and a radical change. Perhaps if you're single, it's meeting somebody who is not your usual type and you have the world. 
Yeah, I, I think this is a connection that could literally bring you the world. It, it would be world changing, life changing. Everything in your reading says, um, don't hang about, seize, seize the moment. So um, keep us posted, pile two. That's what I'd like to say in the comments. Your comments are so inspirational. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. I mean, you guys really are mind-blowingly inspirational. It is such an honor to be connected with you all and to read for you. But yeah, keep us posted in the comments. You know, I, I know I can't reply to you all, but I do read the comments. I do check in on them. Um, you know, I listen to your suggestions for readings. And honestly, uh, you guys totally blow me away. You are amazing. So um, it, just thank you so, so much for being here. Um, you know, obviously, thank you for all your likes, shares, subscribing and all the things that help to keep the channel going. Thank you to those of you who are connected now and have become members of the members membership um, here on our YouTube and members of Patreon, the Patreon community. Um, that's where I put my extended readings. I'll be doing extended readings if you're watching this is, to be fair, a timeless reading. You can watch these any time. But if you're watching it as I've posted it, um, this week I will be doing some readings because there's a big, some big astrological happenings coming up. Massively dynamic in terms of expanding things. Uh, you know, seriously breakthrough kind of energy. So this energy and let's move it forwards with a, a rocket under it. Um, exactly that. And I will be doing some extended readings. So if you are a member on YouTube or Patreon, watch out for those, watch out for the readings here on YouTube and then watch out for the extended as well. Um, beautiful souls, thank you um, for joining me. If you are new to the Moon Magic Tarot channel, welcome. I hope the reading is resonating and of help to you. Um, this is a reading I post for immediate guidance every Sunday uh, and we check in on the week ahead. And then in the week I post usually on a Tuesday and a Friday other readings like the big astrological stuff stuff or or just asking specific questions so um yeah do check those out and um and if you want to get notification as soon as i post anything you know if you subscribe and press the little bell icon hopefully they'll come into your stream so pile two have an amazing week and um yeah i, I just feel like I, I want to reinforce what your spirit team are saying which is there's an opportunity don't miss it there's an opportunity here. Don't miss it. Doesn't matter what other people think or say. This is this. Trust your gut feeling and do whatever is absolutely right for you. Pile three. Welcome to your reading. You have the flame. You have an octopus and Isa. The rune of standstill. I feel like you are asked, you're being asked to pause actually, to stop sort of spinning too many plates. I'm seeing you being very capable of doing lots of things, multitasking here almost. Uh, slow it down if for some reason that message is coming through. Um, but let's draw more cards and see what we're being shown. So we're asking for an immediate message for pile three. Astral travel, caution needed. How interesting this was in pile two. Yeah, it may be that something's moving too fast here. We're all needing to see something. Okay, see the beauty in life. Okay. Funnily enough, I feel that you are actually being asked just to slow it right down to almost one of those sort of stop and smell the roses for a moment, you know, multitasking, doing loads, as if somehow the more still you get, the more, it's almost as though something will it come to light or emerge better if you allow it to just do so, rather than trying to, trying to sort of make it happen or create it, um, or, you know, some, something along those lines. We have Sisters of the Sacred Sp Spiral, which is all about transition shifting from one place to another, one perspective to another. I can't believe this. Desert Harvest has come out in every single one of these readings. You know, this really occasionally happens when the same card, I mean, when I put the cards back in, in between the readings, I shuffle them, I put them in in different places and wow. 
So there's definitely, I think as the energy is rising, I mean, these are timeless readings. So, you know, when, when you find a reading, it's inevitably or usually the right one for you at the right time. That's part and parcel of how it works. But at the time of doing this reading, we've had a massive energy shift, huge energy shift. Thank you all of you who tuned in with my readings earlier, you know, in the previous week to this reading and you know really for sharing your stories so many of you were conscious aware of that energy shift and you know we're really seeing it in real terms physical terms i think what's happening now is that if there's anything in the way anything we have to step over or step into or become aware of because the energy is now rising the energy has shifted as it rises we're needing we're being shown any sort of little and sometimes quite big um, stuff, bits and pieces of stuff that needs to be attended to so that the road is then clear for us to move forwards. So rather than spinning loads of plates and multitasking and keeping on going, I think you're being asked to get still. Just, you might even want to step away. It's got that flavor in your reading of if you have a decision to make, I think it was Einstein who actually said if, if somebody gave him an hour to make a decision or to come up with a solution, he would spend 50 minutes um, kind of like quietly working out um, what the right questions to ask were and then, and then 10 minutes finding the answer. There's something about stepping away from something, being able to see it more clearly, thinking about the right questions to ask rather than pushing ahead with something, taking your time with something which will then rise. It's, I mean, I'm seeing the energy lighting up for you. But with astral travel, caution needed. I, I do, I think this is about getting centered, getting still so that you can see what you need to do next through, through a different lens potentially. So don't rush to go ahead with something. Okay. You have the card 7777 perseverance, change of perspective. What have we just been saying? Reflection, inner strength, wisdom, enlightenment. There's a need for a change of perspective on whatever has taken over you now. If you want to succeed, you need to keep going down the road you're on, reach for the wisdom within, and then you'll know just what the right next step is. So this is exactly kind of the energy I think that was really coming through about get still, stand still, step away from it, take time to think of the right questions before you try and come up with the right solution or the right answer. So you are on the right track, but there's some things that you need to see. So you do need to keep going, persevere, but there's some things that you need to see or look at something from a different angle. So don't just keep going with something. Don't just assume it's all going to unfold there's there's something that needs to sort of not run its course exactly but something else that needs to be seen from a different perspective here so that is your first message let's get some more information for you pile three yeah two of swords i'm seeing here and, and page of pentacles that you do absolutely need to in order to manifest something to move something forwards to bring forth the promise that is definitely there in the on the pathway that you're working on it's it's absolutely there but you need to see something um you're needing to see it from a different viewpoint or approach it differently so getting still and just being an observer yeah because then the solution will come to you you'll see it through new eyes the emperor big cards and then we have Two of Cups. Yeah, so the solution, really, the answer, the solution, the right way forwards will come to you. Um, one of those sort of like aha moments or that, that solution that is like the match made in heaven, really. But you do need to shift your perspective on something because something that you're seeing or approaching, a, a view that you're approaching it from is not the right approach. The, the end goal is, the journey is, but there is something to see differently. Get still. This is the really clear message for you. Get still 
and and even the page of pentacles here she's poised she's centered she's standing on one one leg in this kind of really poised kind of i can make this happen way and then you can take charge and take action okay with the emperor then you can take charge of it and you know you'll be persevering you'll you'll be on the road that you should be on which you already are but you'll just know what the next step is and you'll be really chuffed to pieces with the answer the solution let's get a little bit more information for you and then we'll look at specifically the, the flow of energy for the coming week for you maybe we have more information about this okay gossip okay that's interesting discovery very interesting and prayer okay so gossip discovery mm. i think that something is going to come to light okay and that's why you need to get still and or slow it down not rush forwards with something it may even be that you're acting on the basis of, of information that you have available to you right here and right now but that information isn't actually correct okay and you're going to be discovering it will be revealed to you you'll see what's really going on actually and then you can make appropriate choices and you can proceed but right here right now you are not party to all of the information or some of the information you've been given is not actually correct it may be that somebody with some ill intent has misinformed you or there has been some kind of gossip and drama going on behind the scenes but it's influencing the lay of the land i think you may have been misinformed about something and if you get still you'll then actually you'll, you'll be able to find out you will discover the reality of this situation and once you have discovered it and you're fully aware of it then you take action because it will change your viewpoint of a circumstance a situation or a someone it will change your perspective on them entirely and that means you're then free to make the right choice here actually to make quite an important decision really your messages are very clear very very clear so don't try to push through with something until you have all the information here or recognize that you don't have the information or that you have actually been potentially misinformed you know i'm not sure why i don't know if there was necessarily any ill intent but somehow something hasn't been given to you or revealed to you fully let's now ask for more information so we have four of wands well, let's see how the wind the, the week is going to uh, pan out for you so four of wands the moon i'm seeing this card knight of cups i'm seeing this page of pentacles we have judgment and nine of cups okay cool 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 right look at that page of pentacles showing up twice here hmm yeah there is a situation around you which has in incredible promise it really really does it, it could seriously manifest and come into fruition in such a good way it really really could okay however your current perspective has been potentially slightly misinformed in some way shape or form and it's caused you to look at someone or a circumstance through a particular lens and what we're going to see this week very interesting even the, the judgment card looks more like the imagery in it looks like a death card 
it means that something can be sort of reborn as it were differently and you're going to be very very satisfied with the outcome okay something can be potentially rekindled or get back on track in a way that would be far more in alignment with where it's supposed to be you know the energy is rising and so I think what's happening is certain things are being shifted and changed and brought to light so that we can move forwards in with sort of purpose, with destiny almost. Yeah, I, I think this week, if I, I would say this week, I think there is some sort of an offer for you. I'm seeing with the four of wands. Okay. And you may be undecided about it. Again, you've got to make a decision here, a transition, a choice. So get still because actually currently your perspective of what that offer actually means is distorted by some judgments that have come from different information that may not have been particularly accurate. So get still, be conscious of this, get still and let yourself see you know, I think there have been some other agendas going on. When people have told you something, it's because they had an agenda of their own. Something is going to be transformed, brought to light. And as soon as you have the, the full, all of the information, once you have all the information, you can then make the right choice for you. It's that following your gut feeling and you'll then be able to proceed on track, get back to juggling 20,000 balls and doing it really, really well, but you'll be on a solid foundation. Pile three, this is your reading. The, um, the messages for you are so clear here, so, so clear. But yeah, just be very conscious to slow it down. You won't lose anything. Keep that end goal in sight. But yeah, something is to be offered, I think. Something's to be um, established here this week and you know it's almost like a commitment can be made to something but to make that commitment um, authentically you need to have all of the information in order to yeah assess and evaluate and make the right choice pile three this is your reading a very very clear um, very, very clear set of messages for you, beautiful souls. If this is resonating with you, I hope it has been of help. Um, my beautiful Moon Magic Super Souls, thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of this wonderful community that we're building. It really is such an honor to read for you. You guys are just amazing. You're so inspirational. Um, I, I just reading through your comments on the energy update or, or the energy um readings that I did earlier in the week I mean you guys the sharing of your stories you I mean you really are amazing you know you really really are so thank you for being here um beautiful souls have an amazing week the guidance could not be clearer though it is always up to you what you do free will and conscious choice as always and um you know thank you so so much for liking sharing subscribing thank you all of you who are now part of the membership um part of the youtube channel here and also part of those of you who are members on patreon um, and those of you who give back through the super thanks all of those extra donations actually help me to fund my ongoing my library my online library which is a totally free resource um, it's available for anyone who is struggling emotionally psychologically there's a ton of information there um, and you know all of you who are donating in a different way you are actually helping many many people who use the library so thank you from the bottom of my heart um, and thank you all of you just for being here every time you watch the videos tune in with the readings um, you are actually helping the channel and you're helping me to continue to put free stuff into the world. So just thank you so, so much to all of you. Pile three, tons of love. And I look forward to seeing you for some other readings really, really soon. And, and if you are new to the channel, I do post these immediate guidance message for the week ahead readings on a, on a Sunday. And on Tuesdays and Fridays, almost always, I post... Um, other readings asking specific questions and if you are watching this as I've posted it I mean it's a timeless reading you can come to them at any time this week we have we are heading for some really big 
astrological alignments. So I'll be doing some more readings here on YouTube and also some extended readings um, in the membership area and on Patreon. But yeah, big happenings, big readings coming your way. So watch this space, beautiful souls. The energy is absolutely rising.